isn't the amount of money printed by government less important than the amount of money in circulation already? In this sense, a trillion dollars in the U.S. is less than other governments because it's 70% of global currencies versus the euro, only 15%. So if the euro prints a trillion, it's much more. So I guess just this idea of the base of money in circulation. I've, <clears throat> I haven't actually looked at this number, but there does seem to be a shortage of coins in the U.S., at least at gas stations in Stanford. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what you do I don't with know that. <laughs> what uh, that actually means. No, but I mean, what, what's also happening is that people are saving a lot more. So when you think about money, you can think about the velocity of money. And it's harder to have velocity when there is no physical money sitting there, or i.e. people aren't taking money out, or there are no coins, et cetera. But again, these aren't things that are going to change the view of what I'm, of, of what I'm going to do, right? So again, it's interesting topics. People talk about money, velocity of money, M2 versus M1, et cetera. This is like different, uh, different definitions of money uh, in the money supply. Or, or you could also think about it in terms of the amount of money that people just actually don't take out of the ATM and, and don't take out coins either. Uh, which is, uh, if you guys go to the chart that we have currently on savings, I reviewed this yesterday, uh, Jonesy, on the um, on the on the um, mega market trends call. So you know you have a couple things going on here um, at the same time as uh, the narrative continues to change from the yay old wall. Um, so you look at this slide 67. This is rear view. So this is showing you uh, personal income against social benefits. So again. Um, straight up and to the, to the right. And what a lot of people did with a lot of these different things is that they, they saved. Why? Because on slide 63, they had no money. Okay, so the money that they get from the government, households weren't ready for this. Corporates weren't ready for it and levered households weren't ready for it. Now this one will always be, because I grew up like a much more Benjamin Franklin type um, upbringing. Uh, I know many of you have had the same thing. This is still America. Uh, I know that a lot of people don't believe in that. Like they're reckless, they, they live on leverage and credit cards and a lot of stuff like that. I've seen a lot of, a lot of destruction in people's lives. Like growing up in Canada, seeing that when credit card interest rates spiked and they really were running up the cards and they're doing drugs and they're smoking whatever uh, you can imagine. Uh, but at the end of the day, you know, how long can that continue? I mean, you can see that from a longer term perspective, actually if you even look at this chart, which is really interesting, um, credit card interest rates on slide 73. So again, people are running out of cash so they're saving it. And the credit card interest rates that they're paying, if they're somebody who doesn't have like a high credit rating, is at pretty much the highest level it's ever been. Certainly for the millennial generation or the Gen X generation. Um, so again, for the baby boom generation, not so much, because again, you go back to the 1970s when interest rates are very, very high. Uh, credit card interest rates are even higher. So again, these are all the things that contribute to this money, this thing about the money. You're being told everything's great, buy stocks. I own a lot of stocks. I own a lot more gold and gold stocks uh, than I own like Nikola. Uh, but again, that's just me. Whatever you do, you're gonna do. The problem is that there's a lot of people who don't have any money. So whether it's no coins, no dollar bills, nothing in their accounts, I think that that's a, a generally an interesting topic where there's a lot of fundamental support on this has never happened before, okay? So while Jamie Dimon's you know, troubadouring around talking about how everyone's all of his buddies are buying nicer houses uh, after moving out of the city and there's like 500 people in the JP Morgan building. You know, it's, it's, you got these other people, like all the people, like capital T eight on T-H-E, the people. You know, that's just not the case. And that's, that's the real story in America today.